Hi, welcome aboard. It's good to have you with Elephant Learning. At Elephant Learning, our mission is to empower children with mathematics. The main way that we measure that is the elephant age. The elephant age is the average age that a student in the classroom would be taught the same subjects that the student is working on. The way we determined that was from common core codes or your state codes, and we actually provide you with those common core codes. The puzzles that the students are solving are those puzzles that early age education researchers and scientists know to be the activities that when the student solves both show proficiency in the subject, but also prove understanding because the student is then using that math as a tool to solve the problem. So for example, when a student answers one of our multiplication questions, not only do we know that they're proficient at their multiplication tables, but we also know that they're using multiplication to solve the problem and they're not just counting. That's important because that's what's necessary to get students to solve word problems, for example. So altogether, this is a great tool for you to be able to evaluate your student, but as you're gonna find, as the students solve these puzzles on their own, they're gaining intuition and they're gaining understanding. And so as they're using it from day to day, they're also improving. Let me show you how it works. So what you're looking at here is the teacher dashboard with all of the students. Now, when you come into the system, you might only have the one or two students that are shared with you. Let's invite the rest of the parents in. We're gonna show you how to do that in a moment, but I wanna show you how to use this chart to get the most value out of it. So looking at this chart, the y-axis is the elephant age of the student, and the x-axis is the average weekly playtime. And what we've done is create a scatter plot of all of the students in the class by both average weekly playtime and elephant age. Within a classroom setting, you should be able to do five to 10 minutes a day, five days a week. So the average playtime should be around 25 to 50 minutes per week. Anything over 30 minutes, and we know that the student will gain at least a year of elephant age over the next three months. What we've done here is we've also put these two yellow lines on the scatter plot. The vertical yellow line is the average play time. The horizontal yellow line is the average age of the student in the class. So theoretically speaking, all of the students above the yellow line, they should understand what you're talking about when you're giving your lecture in class. But all of the students below the yellow line, they might have some issues. And the further below the yellow line they are, the more issues they're gonna have. In fact, maybe you wanna even treat them separately. So what we've done is we've been given you the ability to be able to create folders and cohorts of your students right here on the site. All you have to do is grab a student and drag them into a folder. You can even grab them straight from the graph. This graph then becomes a great management tool for your classroom. Not only are you able to create the cohorts of the students that are behind, but you can see who would benefit from more usage. So for example, if we take these students from quadrant three and we ask them to use the system more, not only would they move to quadrant four, but you can see a lot of them have already gained a lot of math. They will float up above the line and they'll be able to understand you in the classroom. So we're moving them from quadrant three to quadrant four to quadrant two. Again, quadrant one and two mean that they can understand you. Now in quadrant four, those are the students that are using the system, but maybe not moving up. That's perfect. So now your classroom becomes managed by exception. You can go talk to those students. You can find out what the issue is. We're gonna guide you through how to tune our system so that all of these students see success from our system. But mainly, if you see them in this area, it's either that they've encountered an issue, which maybe you can give them a hint or clarify for them, or potentially they got the wrong placement exam and we'll show you how to set them a new placement exam in the next video. The other thing that we have here that's great for the teacher are these reports. What you see here is coaching that you would receive from a continuing education course. We literally took all of it from the continuing education course that we would have given had we wanted to do that for teachers. And we placed it right into the reports, both for the parent and the teacher, so that they understand what are the concepts that we're trying to get across and what's the best recommended way for them to get across. But not only that, you can see which students are in each subject. Just click on the subject and you get a list of the names of the students in that subject. On top of that, we break it down by milestone. And again, you could always dig into any particular student's report and see exactly which questions they're having struggles with. So altogether, you're getting a very powerful information tool on your students. Not only are you gonna be able to determine very quickly what they understand and don't understand, you're gonna be able to deep dive into the cohorts for your students right at their level to bring them up and improve their test scores. 
On top of that, you're getting all of the coaching resources that you would get if you took a continuing education course, but right at the student's level, right where they need it. It's like the perfect system for a teacher. But best of all, you're getting all that in real time and we're giving that all to you for free because you're the teacher. Our only mission is to empower children with mathematics. And the way we see it, if we can empower teachers to empower children, we're fulfilling our mission. So let me show you how to get the rest of your classroom into the system. If you go to the menu on the top right of the screen and you go to invite students, you're gonna be able to invite students into the system. You can also invite other teachers. So if you wanna let your friends know about this, go ahead and send them an invite. When you click on invite student, all you have to do is put the parent's email address in and that parent and that family will actually get a scholarship because you're recommending the system for them. Their tuition will be lowered to a level that they can afford based on your recommendation. On top of that, what we've found is that teachers like to help their students. So a lot of the teachers that we've talked to told us that they set aside three to four hundred dollars of their salary each year to help buy things for the classroom. So what we've done is we've made a classroom fund for you. If you go to the menu and you clip, click on classroom fund, what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to let us donate to your classroom fund as parents sign up. As parents sign up, we'll give you 30% of their first month's payment as a donation to your classroom fund. Not only are they helping you do your job, but on top of that, they're helping the classroom as a fundraising tool. You can use the money to do anything you want and it's delivered to you via PayPal automatically each month. So to sum it up, not only are you getting a great resource for your classroom, a great tool to help you manage your classroom by exception, and coaching right at the student's level that you would get from continuing education and real-time reporting, but on top of that, we're gonna be willing to stipend your, your fund and those parents are gonna receive a scholarship because you recommended them. All in all, it's a win for everyone involved. Okay, we're gonna let you go play around with the system, dive into your, to your individual student reports, and start to invite parents and set up your classroom fund. I'm gonna get you another video tomorrow that dives deeper into all of the tools that you have at your disposal to help this student. See you tomorrow.